today. Good morning and thanks for sticking with NBC 10. I'm Abby Price. I'm Hannah Clark and in Louisiana news, Louisiana elected officials and industry leaders are trying to put the state at the forefront of energy production and cutting emissions. Capitol reporter Shannon Hecht met with those leaders to tell us how they plan to do it. The Energy Summit talked about a lot of ways that Louisiana could be a leader in energy production through oil and gas, as well as offshore wind. A lot of people also talked about how Louisiana needs to get ahead of the carbon sequestration industry. Louisiana is already a leader in oil and gas, making up about 10% of the national natural gas production. As there is a growing push from the federal government and the public to reduce carbon emissions, the industry of carbon capture has been growing. So if we do embrace it, There'll be tens of billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars deployed here, paying taxes, bringing wealth. It is a controversial issue here, with communities growing with concern that the underground carbon capture could contaminate water sources, like Lake Moripaw. Industry leaders like Climeworks, who received a grant from the federal government for their direct air capture facility in southwest Louisiana, say that the state is well set up for the industry and people can learn more about this process already taking place. You know, in terms of workforce, expertise, the industries uh, that are here that know how to build things, uh, efficiently um, and to environmental standards. Senator Cassidy is also pushing his foreign pollution fee that would slap tariffs on countries, namely China, who make the same products as the U.S. with far greater levels of pollution. China may eventually lower their emissions, but if they do, that's going to drag their economy a little bit and give them less money to fund their military. He hopes this would put a focus on American goods, and he does not believe it would put extra costs onto the consumer. Right now, there's no movement on Cassidy's bill, but he says that whoever is in the White House next year, that he hopes that there can be a lot more discussions on his bill. In Baton Rouge, I'm Shannon Hecht.